Hi, my name is David Hester, and I think you've made it this far, if you haven't skipped anything, to um, the culmination of the five, possibly six, rules that make up the alt pubra club approach number one to interpreting the primary source pubra manuscripts and notation what do we do with that well i'm embarking on one project for the alt pubra club which is to record on pipes the 10 songs that were collected by Hene, well, were discovered by Dr. Hene McCoslin. Um, these 10 songs are the earliest examples that we have of the P. Brocks that were transcribed and are the earliest collection of full staff notation that we have of these P. Brocks. Um, it's a very exciting collection. It's very cool. Um, and I was going to put those on the pipes and spend the year um, developing my technique and interpretation um, far enough where I don't embarrass myself entirely. So that's one thing I'm doing. But here's another thing I wanted to do. I wanted to do it here as an experiment. I'm going to call it an Urlar a day. I want to go through all 313, 314 pieces from prior to 1850 and see what happens when I apply the rules to them and put them down on the practice channel. I want to do this as a way of inspiring you to compare what you have found by applying these rules when you're searching out for the core melody that's um, usually quite hidden <laughs> when you hear P. Brock today or when you try and read from the page. So every week I'm going to um, produce five recordings. They will be um, audio recordings that are um, accompanied by the score that I have chosen to interpret from. In many cases, it, there will be a reading of that score, but in some cases, because there's only one tradition for them, and because we're quite familiar with that style, um, I will be taking a different interpretive approach to what's written there. Um, because, again, what I want to do is to explore the interpretive possibilities that are created once we get back to the song behind the score. So over the course of the next year or so, you're going to be hearing me on practice chanter. I may transfer to electronic chanter. I don't know. It's just going to be my um, read chanter, which means it's going to be, you know, sounding pretty bad because practice chanters just, they just don't sound good. But um, if you can look through that, that'd be great. I would appreciate your feedback on it. If you have any questions about why I chose one thing versus another, where you think I've gone completely off the rails, or have any questions or insights um, on your own from your own explorations, I'd love to hear them. But beginning next week, um, five Urlars a week. I suppose I could call it that, but it seems more fun to call it an Urlar day. Um, anyway, that's forthcoming, and I'm very much looking forward to getting your feedback on it.